Hello and welcome back to the Villa View for another video. Now today we are back at Villa Park for another special reason. It is the annual general meeting with the Aston Villa Supporters Trust and Keith Winers is here for a Q&A. We're not exactly speaking to Keith about anything. We're going to be speaking to the fans as they come out of the AGM to see what they think about what's been said. We are joined by Howard Hodgson now, a director at the Aston Villa Supporters Trust. So tonight Keith's come here, been quite open, quite frank about things. What did you make of him tonight? I thought Keith was uh, put up, put up an excellent performance. Yeah, you know, I don't want to say performance because that means like he may have been acting. He, he, he's a professional, and he, you know he's got a very important job here. It's the top job, you know, chief executive. Um, but I think he gave us all confidence tonight that he's the right man for that position. You know, he, he speaks with authority, speaks with knowledge. He clearly knows the game. Um, and he's had a, a big background in the game, you know, with his, with his uh, prior roles at Everton and Aberdeen. And I think we're in good hands. It's nice the fact that they, obviously the club have decided to employ people or obviously have, have worked in, in, in football clubs before. I think under the regime of Randy, the people that he's obviously brought in previously before were just caused major issues for the club, no real structure in place. And I think we've, with obviously now with, with um, Tony taking over the club, getting a structure in place, just need to get the results right on the pitch, and hopefully we can move forward. Really, that's. I'm, I'm, I'm you know, I came here last year, and obviously it was completely different from 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 this year, really. So, yeah, I'm looking forward to getting some decent results on the pitch and the club building building on that kind of going forward, really. As much as he can do as a chief exec in these kind of situations, he's obviously going to get a lot of questions fired at him. But I thought he answered them well. I thought he's got the first thing that, that sprung to mind for me. He's got the club at heart. Um, he's not someone who's going to take the role lightly and he, he knows what we need to do as a club to progress. Um, I mean, he's walking past now, um, but he's, um, no, he's, he was really, really, really positive tonight. And I think that what we can take from that is that we are in safe hands um, and that moving forward, we've just got to back this board and, and get behind the team, really. The difference this time around is it seems that there is visibly a plan that is being um, communicated to the supporters and obviously to the wider public so you'd like to think if that plan is being put into action the fruits of the labour will come in time obviously they're not at the moment but I think it's they're, they're willing to play a long game what was the main standout point that Keith made tonight that really stood out I think if you look at him he's, he's obviously a footballing man and you know the traditions and the heritage of the club are important to him um, I think it's important for the fans to obviously to be able to kind of hang on to that as well really and communication is paramount I mean, you know under, under Randy's regime there was never any information coming out of the club now we need to obviously be told with regards to what's going on. Tony's very hands-on, um, so hopefully um, we can we can we can build on. You know, all that's been a, a mediocre season, really. Personally, from my point of view, I just think that if we'd have gone up this season, I think it'd have been a little bit a step too far, really. Um, I expect results to be better with regards to the, the money that we've spent. I just think it's important that we just get a structure in place for the club and then kind of move forward from there. I think he knows the situation that we're in more than anyone. Uh, he understands that he's the right man for the job, which I also believe, and he understands it's going to take time, he's, he's, he's not going to be rash, so I think he's, his overall footballing knowledge, both on and off the pitch, I mean, it's very a general point, but his, his, his support and understanding of the situation that we're in and what we need to do to get back to where we need to be, I thought was, was excellent throughout, really. It's obvious that he agrees with the supporters that all the other plans that him and Tony want to put into place ultimately don't count for anything unless the team's winning on the field, which is really what obviously a football club is there to do you know the, the, the monetary side of things has to come secondary to the team winning games of football. We've been in a, a, a rotten run of results obviously we've won the last two but we're, we're 15th in the championship which wasn't part of the plan this season Keith was honest enough to say that I mean he, he wanted us to get promoted this season so did Dr Tony but what, what, I've, what I was impressed about is the way he's dealing with that disappointment and the fact that he's fully behind the plans that they are put in place so i.e. the infrastructure that you mentioned that Steve Rand's working very hard on and they're clearly totally behind Steve Bruce you know there was no oh well if results continue I'll have to review the manager situation it was Steve Bruce is staying no matter what happens so um, I think that's the sort of stability that we do need at the moment and we have to trust Steve Bruce in terms of the fact that he has had four promotions and that Keith is a good judge and we just need to leave them to get on with it and hopefully have a much better season next season. It's just a matter of kind of making baby steps and making sure we're in a position to kind of build for the future. Like any business, unfortunately, that's exactly what the football club is. We need to have like sound building blocks at the bottom 
and kind of build it and everybody's and all the fans all they're interested in is obviously the results on the pitch and hopefully they'll come as well so would you say you're leaving here satisfied tonight with the answers that Keith's been giving us it's blatantly obvious that the, the, the club's getting some structure in place yes the fans obviously want to see results on the pitch um, all I can say is that it looks like the, the, you know, the business as a whole behind the scenes is obviously being built to get us back to where we rightfully belong and that's in the Premier League uh, last year was obviously um, Tom Fox and Steve Hollis. Um, Steve Hollis, in all fairness to him, you know, in the end was, was a bit of a saviour for this club. But obviously Tom Fox was was, was the equivalent of, of, of Keith and Chief Exec, and every answer that you gave to him was related back to marketing. Keith was opposite; he'd get marketing uh, questions and he'd relate back to the pitch. So, no, I'm, I'm I'm very happy tonight with what I've seen. I think the club's in safe hands, and I think. All we've got to do now is be patient as fans, get behind the team, get behind this manager and just wait for this all to develop really. So, no, I'm, I'm, I'm happy. Just on the supporters' trust note, what is it you're going to be doing going forward over the next few, sort of few months, for example? So, the supporters' trust, uh, you know, we have an important role to play um, in terms of uh, in the running of the football club. Obviously, we don't have a position on the main board like some supporters trust do in certain football clubs we'd love that but uh, at the moment um, we are the main link to the, the main board and and we we, we attend um, the, the consultation regular consultations uh, meetings with Keith uh, along with other fan group heads as well so that's important um, I will continue to personally donate um, packages um, for our members so um, what we do there is that um, uh, we we will have um, a, a, a draw with the members where we do a ballot draw and whoever wins that will get a day out at Villa Park in the director's suite and, and in the director's box and can talk to Keith personally on the day and Brian Little and Ian Taylor and it's a great day out so I'll continue to donate that we'll continue to do work um, with the grassroots of football we have a guy called Chris Carr that does a lot of work in the community here in Aston working with the kids and getting them opportunities um, and we will continue to talk to the media about how Aston Villa are doing and, and, and as I say the main role is to keep the supporter liaison between the club board and the supporters to make sure we do have a voice and that the club um, does listen to the supporters and its views because I think the great thing about Keith and Tony and the new regime is they do seem to be much more receptive and respectful of the supporters voices. If you enjoyed that video, why not watch another one? Click the video choices on screen now to go and watch them in full. And don't forget to subscribe. Click on our logo there on the left and press subscribe. Easy.